right, well, you know what? I'm so excited because um, we get to worship Jesus tonight, and so we get to come together and just elevate God. And so um, I know everyone's all comfy in your seat, and we're going to do the awkward greet your neighbor thing. So would you do me a huge favor and get out of your seat and say hello and welcome to the person next to you. Give them a high five. Give them some knuckles and be like, what up? Let this be a place. Let this be a place where you long to go. As we make a way for your love. Let these hands be clean and this heart be pure. Blameless as the bride you're coming for. It's the power of your presence that changes us your glory. All around us And we run and you open up the heavens And fall afresh on us Let this be a house Let this be a house For where you long to stay Everywhere you meet us face to face before you we want nothing else than just to be with you and you alone it's the power of your presence that changes us your glory all around us when we run down you open up the heavens and fall afresh on us it's the Father, our prayer t today is that you would fill us with your spirit, God, with your presence, that you would burn inside of us, Lord. So each of us, God, we just set our eyes on you. 
And we ask, Holy Spirit, that you would have your way.
was your fault. When I was your fault, still your love fought for me. You have been so, so good to me. When I felt no
No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. sing this song, I want you to I want you to know that God's love is pursuing you that God's love, God is crazy about you and that he is so excited about you and your worship and regardless of how your situation is, whether this has been a great year so far or it's been a mess I want to encourage you tonight to let praise rise from your heart Don't let your situation dictate whether or not you're going to praise him. Don't let your situation or even how this music sounds dictate whether or not you're going to lift your hands, whether or not you're going to lift your voice, but most importantly, whether or not you lift your heart to him tonight. So would you do me a favor? Would you close your eyes with me? If you're in this place and you would say, I'm going to praise God no matter what, I'm going to praise God like my, like my year depends on it. If that's you tonight, would you raise your hand? No one's looking around. I don't want to embarrass anyone. I just want a commitment from you in your heart tonight. God, I'm going to praise you. I'm going to lift my praises to you tonight. Father, I need you.
and we can worship Jesus. And, and yes, the, 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 it sounds amazing, but I love that it's not just songs that we're singing. I love that there's a heart connected to the lyrics. I love that we can sing the same songs that maybe we've heard on a, on a CD or on the radio or whatever it might be, but there's something so unique about when we connect our faith to this. And we say, God, all I want, all I want for 2018 is just to be with you. All I want for 2018 is just to know that you are with me. All I want, all I need. And we can apply our faith to these lyrics and we can be truthful and honest with the Lord. We can allow him to transform our hearts by the renewing of his spirit. We can allow him to transform the way that we think about our lives, about our future, about our year. And we can say, God, all I want is to glorify you this year. All I want is to honor you this year. All I want is that 2018 be another year that I can walk into the things that you have for me and walk into the future that you have for me and walk into the things that you have for my family, walk into the things that you have for my for my career, walk into the things that you're calling me to create, the things that you want me to accomplish, the things that you're calling me to speak, the things that you're calling me to do, the actions that you're calling me to take. And we can come together with all of our faith and all of our walks of life and wherever we're at, and that we can mutually say, yes, this is what I want. And I don't know about you, but maybe if that's your prayer for this year, that God, all I want is to glorify you. If that's your prayer, would you just write there where you're at, raise your hand and say, Jesus, that is all I want. I recognize that you are all I need, that when I put my faith and my hope and my trust in you, that everything is gonna work itself out, that you are gonna work it out for me, that I don't have to figure it out on my own. I don't have to have a plan of how it's all gonna work out. All I have to do is put my plans and my future and the things that I desire to do in your hands and say, God, I trust you. I trust you. And if you would just do that right now, just tell the Lord, I trust you. I trust you with 2018. I trust you with my marriage and my family. I trust you with my future and my career. I trust you with the things, the hobbies that I'm pursuing, the things that I'm putting my heart into. God, I choose to surrender these things to you. And I choose as a believer in Jesus Christ to say, Jesus, I trust you and your future because your promise in Jeremiah 29, 11 is that you would give us a hope and a future. You have a promise for each of us, Lord. And so, God, we choose your will, your way. We choose to put our hope and our faith in you, and we choose to trust you with our future. We choose to trust you with the things that you are going to do, because, God, your word says that you will do exceedingly, abundantly, above whatever we can ask, think, or imagine. And, God, we have some pretty lofty thoughts of what you might do in our lives, but, God, we ask that you this year would blow our minds, God, with what you are about to accomplish, with what you are about to do, with how you are about to move in our lives, Lord. God, we don't want a counterfeit relationship with you. We don't want our relationship to depend on our neighbor, our parents, or the people around us. God, we want our relationship with you to be authentic, to be personal, to be real, to be deep, to be meaningful, God. We need you in every step of this way, Lord. So we invite you into this process. We invite you, we welcome you into this year, Lord. Would you have your way, God, because all we want is to glorify you and live for you. In Jesus' mighty name, and if you said that prayer with me in faith, would you say amen and amen right there where you're at. Amen. Can we give the Lord just the highest praise right now? God, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We love you, Jesus. There's nothing like you. There's no one like you on this planet. Thank you so much, God. All right, well, you know what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the whole awkward, you know, give your neighbor a hug thing. But this time what I want you to do is when you give the person next to you a hug, would you just tell them, God loves you and I kinda like you. Would you do that? Just <laughs> God loves you, I kinda like you, but not that much, okay? Give somebody a hug and say, it's so good to see you tonight. I'm excited about your new year.